Hello everyone, my name is Lara from EasyWP for you and in this video I'm going to show you how you'll be able to revert back if you need to from the container or the grid layout to the intersection or the section. So without further ado, let's dive right in. So the first thing that you want to do is head over to Elementor and then head over to your settings and then under the settings head over to features and over here even though I have the grid container as active and then all the nested elements and the menu and display conditions all of this is active you want to scroll down to the stable features and over here under the flex container you want to just to disable it or just put it as inactive it will prompt you are you sure about that even though i don't want to do that but for you i just wanted to show you how you can do that so container based content will be hidden from your site and may not be recoverable in all cases so just for you to know that other than that we'll click deactivate that will refresh and now when we'll head over to our pages and in my case Case, I will edit this page Elementor container to intersection so edit it with Elementor now you'll be able to see that I have the intersection and when I click the plus icon over here in this box you'll be able to see that I no longer have the arrows or the direction or the new layout of the boxes of Elementor as you can see right now now for that to happen first of all you can just insert a new section over here or if you want to you can just head over back to your widgets and then drag and drop a new intersection right over here and that will act the same as before but one thing just to conclude all this is that I would not recommend you to do that even though this video is how to do that but I just wanted to note here that you're missing out on a few great features now even though in the past the section and the intersection are great to use for one thing or another but you're missing out on all the flexbox container features that Elementor implemented whether it's in a grid layout or in the container layout so if you want to enable it back the same process will be applied you want to head over back just click the menu over here then head over and click exit now yeah it will prompt me that i have not saved my changes so i'll just click leave because i don't want to save those changes and then i'll exit out of that by just clicking the wordpress icon over here on the top left hand corner of my screen and then the same thing i'll head over to elementor settings features and then i'll just enable the grid container if i want to right now it's in beta yes i would need to also enable the flexbox container so i'll just hit cancel so i'll scroll to the bottom here until i hit the flexbox container i'll enable it or i'll activate it then i'll scroll to the top and i will enable whatever i want to usually I enable the menu yes activate it yes i want to activate that it will refresh and then if i want to i can also activate the nested elements it was activated by default and then also the display conditions and the grid container if i want to i can also activate that once more and after that you're pretty much done just scroll to the bottom then click the save changes button right over here and then next time that you will head over to your pages and then you'll try to edit a web page with elementor you'll be able to see the new container or the grid layout widget as you can see right here and that concludes this video i really hope you liked this video and i really hope this video helped you and if it did i'd be really glad to if you leave a thumbs up make sure you subscribe to my channel so you won't miss any tutorial that I post on Elementor, WooCommerce, and WordPress. And if you would want to see other features, for example, if you want to access the new layout, the new top bar by Elementor that Elementor implemented in the new features, which just moves all these buttons over here and all the responsiveness right to the top here by enabling the editor top over here under the Elementor and settings, this will be in this video right here. So go over and watch it and see what I think about it. Other than that, I'll be seeing you in the next one.